Names of voter fraud and tampering with mail in ballots heating up. This is days before runoff elections in Dallas. Our Steve Pickett live tonight as residents weigh in on who might be responsible. Well, and it's not just these residents, it is the ongoing investigation, which includes an arrest warrant for one individual. Uh, investigators have identified at least one man. They have not identified at this point his motivation for these allegations. Dallas police and the DA's office, according to sources, have at least two other people believed to be involved in a network scheme to steal votes with fake mail in ballots. Uh, but they are not specifically identifying those other individuals. They have identified this man, the arrest warrant for Miguel. Hernandez, a resident of this neighborhood, identified him as the person she gave an unsigned mail-in ballot to. They cannot find Mr. Hernandez at this point. Now, investigators gathered questionable ballots back in March when all of this started, when complaints were filed about possible voter fraud. Pat Stevens, a resident who lives here, she says someone, she showed me Mr. Hernandez's picture, she took a picture of his ID, says came to her house trying to pick up a ballot that she never ordered. She says this fraud investigation isn't about this one man. Somebody is so serious about winning this election until they pulling out all stops, crooked stops, that they can make in order to, to gain that seat. Uh, that seat in particular she's talking about, the runoff here in West Dallas between Monica Alonzo and Omar Naves. Uh, that election, of course, with several others on this Saturday. But as it stands right now, one person being sought, but the investigation continues. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.